Quite big. Yeah. As well. And uh, this harvester had the, the H414. Yes. Uh, does it come with the multi-speed um, feed roller um, other no. relics? No, no, it's uh, it's only on 415. This is with single speed. Oh, okay. Plane, yeah. Plane feeding rollers. Yeah. So it's only 415 that you can get with. Uh, yes. Yeah. And that is a uh, too big of a head for uh, 1170. Yes, it is. Not yeah. from the hydraulic power. Or, or engine power, but uh, the boom power is yeah. then. And uh, here in Germany, you said before that uh, this one, uh, this type of machine, the, the 1170 uh, with eight wheels, is uh, gaining popularity. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they they don't use uh, belts on on the wheels here, or not so much in, uh, right in this region, as you can see here. Is, uh, the ground is sandy. Yeah. You don't need to have half tracks. No. Some places they will use tracks, but mostly they try to avoid using tracks. Yeah. Of course, it's nicer, nicer to drive and not so much uh, impact on the forest. So rubber tire is smoother for the for the roots of the trees. So it doesn't make so much yeah. root damage and yeah. And uh, so so almost every time in Germany, if you can drive without without tracks. You will drive with rubbers, and that's why, like uh, this machine is with TRS2 Nokian uh, tires, yep. so that you have more traction, yep. even even on the on the soft ground. Yeah. And this new grey color on the frame and the, and the crane uh, has it um, is it in serial production? Yes. Yeah. So you have uh, shipped uh, new machines with this new color. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is one of the first ones, but but uh, from now on they will be will be great. Yeah. With the new G-series, Don Deere has now flipped the engine, placing it in the back of the rear frame. This means uh, less engine noise into the cabin. Uh, the engine is a 6.8 liter six cylinder diesel engine. Uh, that is made in John Deere's factory in France. It generates uh, around 208 horsepower at maximum, which is a 6% increase from the previous IT4 engine from John Deere. The new engine now uses urea uh, to comply with uh, the final tier 4 emission standards. Uh, one positive thing is that this engine is ready for tier 5.
and with IBC you don't uh, have to use the the knob for the extension. Yes. No, no, you don't use that at all. 